Hello everyone, I am Vedant Setia, a technical marketing intern at Infoblox. In this video, we will talk about Swagger and implementation of Swagger for Infoblox REST APIs. What is Swagger? Swagger is a framework for describing your APIs using a common language that everyone can understand. Similar to how Git has become the de facto open source platform for developers, Swagger has emerged as the most popular approach for API design. Swagger follows an open API specification for describing the APIs. This format is easy to learn and readable for both humans and machines. Swagger has multiple advantages. It is comprehensible for everyone. It provides a friendly user interface, making it easy for the developers and non-developers to have their input in API design. Swagger documentation can also be used to automate the API dependent processes. For developers, it is a great tool for testing and debugging, whereas for the user, it provides a platform to understand the working of the APIs. Swagger provides an interactive interface for playing around with the APIs, which reduces the dependency on API docs. Swagger's definition for Infoblox WAPIs is available as a publicly accessible Docker image. Prerequisites for using the Swagger definition are, user needs to have access to an Infoblox grid in order to use the Swagger definition. The host machine should have Docker installed with proper connectivity with the grid. Course plugin for Chrome has to be enabled, which allows the Swagger application to fire API queries against the grid, and the user has to accept the security warning by accessing the grid manager in case a self-signed certificate is used. Now let's quickly look at the demo. Docker image for Infoblox Swagger definition is available on Docker Hub. Using this command, users can access the Swagger definition by downloading and running the Docker container. After installing and running the container successfully, in order to view the documentation, go to the browser and enter the IP of the host on which the container is running along with the port number as specified in the Docker command. On the home page, after entering the grid master's IP address or FQDN, user can select the WAPI version that they need the documentation for. The drop down here allows for selecting the last four WAPI versions supported by the grid master. After selecting the WAPI version, your documentation will be generated. Click on the button to view the Swagger definition. Please remember to enable the course extension so that Swagger can fire APIs against the grid. The Infoblox WAPI objects have been categorized into various topics that are available as a dropdown on top of the UI. After selecting the topic, authenticate the Swagger UI using Grid Manager's username and password. Once the authentication is complete, you can play around with the API objects. Let us look at the network object. All supported operations are listed under each object as shown. A GET request fetches all occurrences of the selected object from the grid. To perform a GET operation, expand the operation by clicking on the header and then click on Try it out. The operation expands with all local and global parameters listed as shown. After entering the parameter values, click on Execute button. Swagger makes the selected API call and displays the response with the response code. A curl command is also provided to the user for reference. An example value and schema are displayed for the user's reference wherein they can view all supported fields along with their description and data type. A POST request creates a new occurrence of the selected object. To create a new object, expand the POST operation and click on TRY IT OUT. The request body will be activated with all the writable fields. Users can enter values for required fields as per requirement. After finishing the request body, click on EXECUTE to create the object. Swagger will make a POST call and respond with the reference ID of the newly created object and a response code. Infoblox WAPIs also support GET BY REFERENCE, wherein a user can fetch the information about a particular object using reference ID. In order to make a GET BY REFERENCE call, 
expand the operation and click on try it out. Enter the reference ID of the object in the field provided and click on execute button. Swagger will make a REST API call and respond back with the response code and the required information. Some Infoblox objects support function calls using APIs. For example, the network object supports six function calls. In order to make a function call, expand the POST operation and click on try it out. After entering the reference ID, select the function from the provided dropdown. For this example, let us fetch the next five available IP addresses. Enter the request body as per requirement by referring to the schema given below. Once the request body is complete, click on execute to perform the function call. Swagger will make the API call and respond back with the response code and the required output. A put operation is used to update an existing instance of an object. To modify the network we created earlier and update it with the comment, expand the put operation and click on try it out. After entering the reference ID, the request body will get activated with all the editable fields. After making the desired changes to the body, click on execute button. Swagger will make an update call and return the reference ID of the updated object with the response code. Delete operation will delete the object's instance. In order to delete a network object, expand the delete operation and click on try it out. Enter the reference ID in the provided field and then click on the execute button to delete the object. The object will be removed with the reference ID and response code displayed on the Swagger UI. To summarize, Swagger makes the process of using APIs extremely easy and removes the dependency on API docs by visualizing the APIs using a friendly user interface. The Swagger definition for Infoblox WAPIs is available on Docker Hub for public access. Few limitations include cross origin resource sharing which can be overcome by using Codes plugin for Chrome. Insecure connection limitation can be overcome by pre-launching the UI and accepting the security warning. And the third limitation is fetching mandatory parameters for POST and PUT operations. The Swagger definition provides you a customizable, holistic and granular view of Infoblox APIs and makes it really easy to understand and play with the APIs. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned to the Infoblox community for more such exciting projects.